Hello, I'm Blizznub, and this is Building the Best. Today we're not looking at Atlas, because my Atlas build yesterday was absolutely awesome, and none of you can deny it. Sorry that I promised you another Atlas build, but honestly, I looked at other ways of building him, and can't really be done. So, we're looking at the Sonicor today. Now, the Sonicor is one of the meh weapons in this update, because its space stats are just eh. If you look at them, we have 50 impact damage, no status chance, which... You can still get status procs with, but it's really kind of buggy. And no crit chance worth mentioning, with also a really slow reload. Middling magazine, fire rate's a bit eh. It's a generally eh weapon. And and there is a reason why there are five former on this, because I think it's an awesome weapon in disguise, as an average weapon. And if you look at my config A page, you can see just how I've made this weapon absolutely awesome. It's by jamming as much damage as possibly can into it. Now, literally, as much damage. We have three damage mods, an impact mod, and four elemental mods. Not elemental status, even, because why would you? There's no status chance. Just pure elemental damage here, and we're getting about 2,700 damage split between impact, blast, and corrosive, which thankfully covers every single armor type in the game. Which is brilliant, but I know what you're thinking. This is building the best. Two and a half thousand damage? Who are you kidding? That's, that's, ugh. I need to stop just grunting when I'm describing my weapons. Anyhow, the only real way I can demonstrate, wait, no, the only real way I can tell you how good this weapon is, is by demonstrating it, because I promise you this weapon is well worth those five former, that kata, and the many, many sleepless nights I spent maxing it to try and get a video out. Now, the reason being is that it is, relatively speaking, rapid fire. With Lethal Torrent on, I'm getting a fire rate of 2 per second, which is nice. You know, it's not rapid fire. It's a semi-automatic weapon, meaning you cannot hold down the trigger and just expect it to keep firing. But you can still get a decent fire rate. And what we're going for here is that we're going for a decent fire rate for the simple reason that if I let the enemies build up, it's area of effect. And fantastically so, if I do say so myself. Now, unfortunately, this weapon cannot benefit from Firestorm, as it is, of course, a secondary. But being a secondary, it also benefits from the fact that you never have to put it away. Which I think is brilliant. And I absolutely love secondaries over primaries for that very reason. But what we're also thinking of here is 2,700 damage isn't actually enough to kill such enemies as my ancient disruptor friend here. So if I shoot at him, oh, well, he, okay, he died. Yay me. Um, the point I'm trying to get across is that if you do not kill an enemy with the Sonicor, if the enemy is in fact at the base of the explosion or hit directly by the projectile and not killed, it will always be ragdolled. It is guaranteed to. Now, of course, bosses are exceptions to this, and I believe the Stalker also is. But it doesn't really matter. We're talking about a weapon that you can take to a survival, a tower for defense, and keep up with the rest of your friends and their amazing somas. This weapon will do that. It can kill the fodder so easily with its area of effect explosions. And when you come up against things that aren't fodder, it sends them flying if it doesn't kill them. It can send them flying if it does kill them as well, but that, that's just a side effect. Now, the only other thing to say about the Sonicor is that it explodes a set distance away from you, which I believe is between f 7 and 8 meters, give or take. And the explosion is a 4 meter radius, meaning that you can bounce... Um, and, lastly, you can bounce the projectile off walls and surfaces of any kind, meaning that you can bounce the projectile back to yourself and shoot things behind you, on top of you, or around you. You can shoot round corners, generally making this weapon incredibly versatile. And that's pretty much all there is to say. Are you going to die in one hit? Yes. Damn it. I didn't demonstrate that point. But still, trust me, it will always ragdoll on hit. And that's pretty much all there is to say about this. This weapon is awesome. And honestly, it is well worth trying. I know my build has five former on it, and that's... A lot of dedication for a eh, weapon, but it's worth it. Please do give it a try. Comment below telling me how it was. Anyhow, I'm Blizznub. This is the Sonicor. Thank you very much for watching. Please like and comment if you've enjoyed, or even if you haven't. And subscribe if you want to see more. 
and bye.